Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Alright, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got a defensive play for you today, just a single defensive play because this is basically a preview for the ebook of the Bengals that I'm doing that's coming out uh, pretty soon. The link of that should be in the description below. A couple different ways you can get it: you can get the full breakdown video right here on YouTube. Um, that should be an option. Uh, you could also get it on my Patreon. You get unlimited ebooks and full breakdown videos on my Patreon if you're a Patreon subscriber. And also, my website should be up and running by now, um, so you guys can get that stuff there. But this is basically the simplest and quickest blitz you're going to find online uh, out of the best playbook online period. I mean, out of the plays I've put out this year so far on defense, I've put out one out of the 4-3 under, a whole scheme out of that. I put out a scheme out of the 46 normal. Uh, I put out uh, a blitz out of the double A gap, a defensive uh, a pass uh, defense out of the double A gap. There's really good blitzes out of there. The blitz I'm going to show you today out of 3 3 five. The 3 3 five wide 9 is one of my favorite. The dime normal is one of my favorite. I got a really good quarter normal blitz. So this is just a really this, this defensive playbook has essentially everything you need. Uh, in it so if you play mutt a lot this is perfect but i'm gonna show you this de these defensive blitz um, it's a game changer it's a right up the gut a gap uh you know real fast up the gut blitz so let's go ahead and let's pick that out of three through five the nickel three through five we're gonna do the loop crash two and then on offense it doesn't really matter what i pick so the set's real simple all i'm gonna do is uh shift my line to the right and then shift my linebackers to the right and then i'm gonna take this middle linebacker here who i'm gonna be using in coverage and i'm gonna just hug the hip of this defensive end now how this is gonna work is the the linebacker in the middle is gonna scream in right away uh, even if the running back's there to block he typically will, will pass him by one way or another um, and then my defensive end carlos dunlap who i'm against will also uh get some pretty good pressure so let's go ahead and let's rock this one time Got to wait here a little bit. I actually got picked up a little bit. See how he just hops that running back? I don't know why. He hops it. Carlos Dunlap gets, uh, gets open every time. I don't know why. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you why it works that way. But it's super simple. It's just two adjustments. You can do that. I don't care if your opponent's running a hurry up or not. You can do this. Go ahead and run it again. Uh, there he took a wide angle. Sometimes he'll take a wide angle, but you can still see he's going to beat that backer every time. I get a sack fumble, and it's that simple. So we'll do it one more time. Just show you a little consistency. Super quick, you know what I'm saying? There's nobody going to run the offense faster than this. And then you still have time to get back into your coverage. Um, there, I don't think that was a linebacker, but you can see how he's getting through. This setup, typically the linebacker and the defensive end gets in, but in that particular play, somebody else got in, which is different. Like That's what I'm expecting. The, the linebacker gets straight through. Even with the running back blocking, there's no, uh, there's no match for that. And it's the same guy getting in every time on the other side, too. The defensive end, for whatever reason, gets in every time. Like I said, I'm in a position. I'm still in a position I can drop back. There, they picked it up pretty good. We're still getting still getting heat. So we'll go ahead and run it against another play just so you guys can see. All right, so this play right here is just a PA rollout. Uh, you know, it's a different play just to show you how it works. And you see how he just comes straight up that gap there. Uh, he gets it away, but hey, what are you going to do? So here's similar formation. This is the PA rollout just to show you. You know, a little bit of a different look, uh, but it'll have the same effect. And you can see how he just comes screaming right up that A-gap. There's just, you know, the running back's off and missing. Even when the running back, um, you know, picks it up for the most part, it's a, it's no competition. I mean, the linebacker's going to win that battle. Uh, but you see here, he's just totally taking that angle. And he's getting it away, but, uh, you know, your user's not going to be on point like that. So uh, it's a pretty good job by Flacco to get it out. Uh, but either way, you can just see how this blitz is screaming in. And every once in a while they pick him up, but it's really not consistent enough. But yeah, you're only sending five guys. Um, you know, it's a it's a really good blitz for five guys. You still have a really good cover two concept uh, to work with. You know, like a third and long or something like that. This is a really good way to get some uh, consistent pressure. As you can see, this guy's going again. The running back just didn't even pay attention to him. So the the quarterback computer is getting it away. But yeah, you want to get in front of 73. You want 73 to draw. You want to draw his attention, or else he'll drop into that uh, linebacker a lot of times. As here, the cornerback comes in free, which can ha can happen also. So you really see. I think that the best way to do this is a lot of times the linebacker will come in free. Uh, but it's it's really you're getting it from several different areas on this play. 
All right, so next up, I want to show a pretty good base defense that, um, you know, I would typically say works best in uh, passing scenarios. Um, you know, if, you, if somebody's using the, if somebody's passing a lot, if it's a situation that calls for a pass, I like using the straight up Tampa too. And I know, I think it's that's a play that people are using as a blitz online, but I typically use it a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick uh, the tri or triangle there, Tampa two at the top. And um, I'm going to pick uh, random, we're going to go random gun here. So this play here, I don't really feel like in, tough, in cover uh, twos, I need so many yellow zones. Since there's no running back in the backfield, I probably would leave it just like this. And uh, I would probably, uh, you know, slant my line to the left. And um, slant, I would actually slant the uh, slant them to the right after I slant to the left just to kind of um, try to trick the offensive line to hopefully get, um, you know, this uh, Denard in free. Um, in this scenario, I'm, uh, you know, typically I would say... Like I said, since there's no back, no way in the backfield, I think this is a pretty good way to run it. But this guy here, uh, Virgil, I think is his name. I typically would feel free to man him uh, wherever I felt necessary. Like in this scenario, I'd probably man him to a paraman uh, because that would be uh, where a lot of people would go. And on the other side, I would typically uh, man Denard to um, you know, maybe Wallace or something like that because these are the receivers that are going to see the most work, uh, either the outside slants or you know. Uh, crossing routes typically and then I would just kind of use her uh, the tight end here take away the middle half um, and this would be you know a good way to run this where you're running it, it's just you're not gonna get a lot of pressure but you're gonna have an opportunity um, to, to if somebody likes to throw the ball away they need a long conversion this is gonna be a really good defense for that uh, but like I said I would actually I could typically run it just like this as well since I'm not getting um, too much um, in the way of uh, you know running backs in the backfield, you could also bluff blitz gray here, so that'll hopefully pick up. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll run it like this a couple times. Looks like they're gonna take the check down there. Like I said, this is a good passing scenario for third and long, but you really have your option. Like in this scenario, uh, with a receiver over here, I might want to just man him to pyramid. Um, I could also man, you know, Ray to Wallace if I think it's a crossing route. It's really, I just think you have additional guys um, if you want to run it like a, a, a straight coverage to do a lot of things. And then there we get a pick as Virgil's falling underneath. But it's just a really good coverage option. It's really good for, like I said, obvious passing scenarios. Maybe you have a guy that you're playing that doesn't really hold the ball very long. He just likes to get it out. Um, you have a lot of different options. Like here, I didn't mean to do that with mentor but here let's say you know I would I would basically be covering inside the walls anyway oh I actually shouldn't have bluffed listen but it's all good there was coverage there knocked it out would have been much better off there if I just had uh, if I didn't bluff blitz it kind of helped me up there but like here you know I could go uh, this route to west and then I'm covering the tight end and then you know I'll leave that guy in the blitz this time it's a really flexible base defense is what I'm saying. <clears throat> so here, you know, you see that uh, it's a pretty good blitz. I mean, I, I'm not doing too much there. That's not a real setup. I just basically let the blitz go the way that it is. So here, I'll, I'll typically, like I said, typically I'll, I'll do the running back like that more than anything. Uh, but I like to shift the line towards the blitz and then send it the other way. So that's uh, shifting and then slanting right. I find works pretty decent on the blitz. And then I just like to occupy somebody on the other side. But this is, I know, like I said, they see that it gets him free. Um, you know, so it looks like my, oh man, if it wasn't for 59, was it from a man tackle, he might have been a touchdown. So I call this a base defense. But you can see it's still kind of a blitz. So there we'll, uh, we'll man up, man up the running back. And then, um, oh, we're gonna get a, get a little popski on the running back there. So we get about a yard. Like I said, I really thought to do the running back there. So this here is pretty much how I'd do it. And then like I said, you could always blitz the other side with the other guy if you really want to continue with that. But it's obviously not as successful. The cornerback blitz is way better. And there where he gets a yard and then drops the ball. So you see outstanding coverage. That's uh, that's the end of the video. 
Um, I have to hold up the R2 button or else the computer will run, will run a play. So, like I said, if you guys want to see uh, Bengals ebook, um, it's in the description below. Lots of really good plays like this. And uh, if you guys want to see more defensive plays, hit the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, Mad Moish it out.